Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. In this video, we're gonna show the top five features so far in Copilot for Word. So stay tuned. There are tons of new features in Copilot for, for Office 365, but in this video, we're gonna focus on Microsoft Word and how is this gonna make your life a lot easier going forward using AI. As you may know, Copilot is basically ChatGPT. It's Microsoft's flavor of ChatGPT. And they have now integrated this into all the products that you can see. There used to be a minimum number of 300 licenses required to get Microsoft 365 Copilot. However, now you can actually get it with as little as one user. So let's open up Word and see what we can do with this new, new feature inside of Word. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a list of, of, of fixes that we want for Dynamics 365. And I want to I want to go ahead and just look at this and you can see it's quite lengthy, uh, about 15 pages of items here. So I want to find a way to make this super easy to find out how to do this. Once you've installed the, uh, once you actually have licensed Copilot, and we have another video on how to do that, you can, you'll see a new button that's going to show up for your team, the Copilot button that you see right here. If you click on that, I can go through quickly and say, summarize this. So I'll just click, actually gives me a little, a little prompt here. I can type it in down below, or I can just say, summarize this doc right here. It's going to go through now, scan the 15 pages, and try to summarize this down to a simple list of pieces here. And we can see here, you know, what, what do I have to do? What, what are the big key elements in this document? We can also go through and say, summarize this in two bullets. The more specific you are with AI, the better answers you're going to get. But summarizing, we'll go ahead and go through and find out everything this document is saying and drill down and give us the, the highlights of it. Let's build a document from scratch here and see what we can do. I want to introduce a new class on uh, Adobe Photoshop. I want this to be about a, an eight hour class, a one day class here. So let's say uh, build a class agenda with module listings uh, and times for a one day Adobe Photoshop class to teenagers. We'll get really specific here. And then when I hit go, watch the magic happen here. The number two thing that I love about, about Copilot is the generative AI for things like building out starting place for your documents. Now this takes a few seconds here. Here's my class agenda with times. And I can then say, uh, uh, make it more formal or uh, describe each module in detail. Hit go. There we go. And it will then retry that again. You see my breaks are on here. Uh, my description is here. This could be you know, 10 pages long, be five pages long. It's all based on the prompts that you're giving it here. There we go. Look at that. So now we're getting some better descriptions of it and it's starting to build out my agenda. Now, there's a lot of other things we can do with this. One of the other neat things we can do is we can base this on Word docs that are PowerPoint docs or meetings that I've done or emails or team messages that I've already done. So because this is already built in the Office family, it has working knowledge of all the documents I have in my, in my area. Once I'm ready with this, by the way, just hit keep it. And now this is a good starting point. We can also say, hey, make this more formal, make this more casual, make it funny, turn it into a poem. All those kind of things can, can work as well. But you're getting a, a nice breakdown. We can add more information at any point. We can highlight these areas and we can say, go ahead and rewrite this and uh, make it more details, like expand it or whatnot. So I can ask it to do more things. I can ask it to, oop, I'm going to hit the re redo button here. So it's going to take this one paragraph and redo it. I can say, let's make it uh, super imaginative here. Uh, length it. And you'll watch, the, watch my paragraph here as I do this. If I like that, hit replace. And we can see that it gets, gives us a little more details, a little more you know, descriptive or more fun in this case. Let's build another Word doc and see what we can do with our third most important things. Now this is, we've already seen something very similar to this, but now I wanna show you how we can base this on an existing uh, set of documents I might have. So I have a PowerPoint document out there, a PowerPoint uh, a presentation out there of some open source uh, apps that we've built. So I wanna go ahead, the customer has asked for some formal documentation on those apps. So I can say, write some instructions, 
uh, based on, and I hit a forward slash here. When I hit forward slash, it's going to go ahead and say, oh, there is my PowerPoint that's already out there. It's my most recent files that I have out here. I can also hit reference the document. It'll go out there and search for the file as well. But if I, these are the most recent ones I've done. And if I hit click on that document right here and then hit generate, it will go ahead and build some detailed instructions based on that Word doc, uh, based on that uh, PowerPoint in this case. It can also based on, on, on any type of text that you have out there. Now, it's not limited to this one PowerPoint. It can also go out there and explore other things that the PowerPoint might reference. It might reference a link out to GitHub. And with that link, it will go ahead and get more information. That PowerPoint is only uh, four or five slides long. And look at all the goodness it's doing right now. This will take some time to do it. But while it's doing it, we can, we can kind of move on to other things. So let's give that a few seconds and see what it produces now. So it's now produced a four-page document from a four or five slide presentation. Uh, now, if I hit keep it, it's going to go with it and, and we can go deeper into it. It's important that you provide feedback. So if you don't like what it did, make sure you give that a thumbs down and then try again if you wish. But we also can ask questions about this document. You've already seen the summarization, summarization. But I can also go through here and go to my co-pilot and then ask questions like, hey, I want to make sure there's a, there's a real call to action in this. So I can ask like, you know, what is the call to action in this document? It's going to scan the document, look to make sure we have a, a nice punchy call to action. We can also look for, hey, get, build a headline, build three headlines on this document as well. So as, you can, anything you can think of, you can dream. You can also, by the way, uh, look at these prompts and add your own prompts that, that, are, that are helpful as well. So we can see according to the document that there is a CTA at the bottom to install. And based on that, I can actually click on that and it will open right to the area where it found that, that call to action at also. So it can close that loop and make sure your Word doc is actually actionable. Imagine we have a list of, of um, training materials. So I can go in here and say, uh, build some uh, modules based on this, the, this, this doc, uh, instruction modules. There we go. And I'll hit generate. It will go ahead and scan the document and try to build some modules based on that. So this little piece that you're seeing here, that little co-pilot button, is going to be hovering in a lot of the documentation. You'll see in Word. You'll see it in other products as well. And as it goes through this, it, you'll start to see it basically produces that. There we go. And if we like that, we can also say, if I put things like, um, you know, two hours for this and one hour for this, I'm going to keep that for the time being. But I'll put like a dash two hours. I'll do a dash one hour for the task and so on and so on. Just make it nice and free form here, five minutes. And if I highlight this again, check out what we can do. We can select our guy right here and say visualize as a table. And it's not really tape tabular data here. But I try to make it look somewhat like a table by putting a dash one hour and so on. If it, if it looks like a table, it's going to do its best to generate a table right, be, right beneath this with the task, the step, what the step is, and how long that step takes. So magically here, we have what we want. We can then, of course, tell it to do it more creatively or whatever. And there we go. So we have our now task. Now that we have that, we can remove this piece here as well. So what we showed you there are five areas that you can use Word and Copilot to make your life a lot easier. If you've ever built a Word doc like this, where you're having to document instructions and double do work from PowerPoint into OneNote or OneNote into this, this will make your life so much easier. So thank you for watching this video today. And please do subscribe for more videos like this also. And also, you're going to find a whole bunch of other videos on Copilot for each of the office suites uh, on our channel. Thank you so much.